index access operator. Here are some expressions using index access operator with the corresponding functions in Kotlin. So, here you can find that how this index access operator can be used. So, here we have given some sample expressions and here is the respective function or the method to be called and internally the translation will take place from this expression to this respective function call. So, a i will be translated to a dot get i in this way we have shown that how this index access operator can be used in Kotlin. So, let us show you one practical demonstration of this operator on our Kotlin programming and here is the demonstration follows. Now, in this program we shall discuss about the index operator. So, here we have defined one array a with this set of values print ln a1 that means I want to print the value at the subscript number 1. So, 2 is supposed to get printed. At that location we are updating with the value 50 and then again we are printing the respective value at position 1 of array a. We know that whenever we are going to access any ith subscript of an array then get function is getting called. So, that is why we are doing the same using this get function and then using the set function at subscript number 1 we are putting the value 100 and then we are trying to print the respective locations content. To know more about this get just press control and click just press control and click then this arrays dot at the respective file will get open and this file is having so many different classes defined one is byte array next one is your car array next one is your short array and then int array, then long array, then float array, all these classes have got defined. So, it is a double array. So, all the respective constructors and other functions set and get what are the what are the operations to be done. So, they have got defined in this respective arrays.kt. So, now let me execute my code and let me see that what are the outputs we are going to get. Here you see print 1, print a1, we are going to get this 2 here and then 50. So, in case of 50, we are, we are just assigning this 50 to a1 and then we are printing the respective locations content. So, we are getting 50 here. So, at this location already we are having 50. Now, doing this update using this set method, doing this update, the subscript number 1, the location number 1 will get updated by 100. And if you want to print the respective locations content, you are going to get this 100 here. In this way, we have discussed how this index operator can be used in Kotlin. I think now your conception is now uh, getting clear that how to use these index operators and what is index operator. Thanks for watching this video.